and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guidance. Today, I'm going to go over what you guys want to be doing with your coins before the Team MVP slash Theme Builder 2 promo. Now, if you guys don't already know, I recommend you go watch my 1030 video, by the way. The giveaway is running there as well today, and I go over all the Team MVP type info we got for today. The sneak peek Tennessee Titans reveal, as well as the brand new Tomorrow Superstar little mini promo type player drop. But... Beyond that, guys, there's a lot to go over with your coins today because we're getting a special stream tonight. So quite a few things usually happen with the impact of a special stream, as well as with a brand new promo. Now, this promo is kind of two promos built into one. It's the Theme Builder 2 promo, which you guys already know. The Theme Builders are... Come over to sets. If you guys remember the first Theme Builders, it's kind of what started this whole game this year, the Theme Builders. I'm going over. Now, Theme Builder 2s, these are Theme Diamonds too. There was Theme Diamonds, and these are Theme Builders. So the Theme Builders were the day one, like, every team in the NFL, you did it, you got, like, the Darius Slay... You were able to go ahead and play the solo challenge. You know, it was a whole whole thing. You guys get the point. This is 2.0 of this. Now, they kind of turned this 2.0 into an extension into Team MVP. So, they did reveal the Tennessee Titans today, which was Ron Tannehill and Jarrell Casey. Pretty much every team gets a defensive and an offensive. It's going to introduce about 64 brand new players into Madden that are all 97 overalls. Going to crash the market, for one. Going to make a lot of players who are high overalls lower, lower prices just because... Maybe they weren't really that good. They chose a lot of cards that were 97s yet. And it's going to overall bring the market down. Now, it's also going to greatly improve theme teams. So a lot of things are going to change on the coin on the coin front, as well as the power up front. So guys, real quick before we get into the video, remember we are running the daily giveaways. So all you got to do to enter these daily giveaways, as per usual, go down below, like the video. For every 80 likes that we get on this video, I will be doing a 10k giveaway. Now for today's winner, by the way, I did pick someone for yesterday. I'm, I have the other two days still, but I picked yesterday's winner and it was, let's see right here. Young Savage JQ. I'm not gonna say your gamer tag out loud because that's a you know, privacy concern there. Go over and over to Twitter and hit me up or DM me directly on Xbox Poodle YT. But Twitter's the best way to do it. Now, anyways, that was the winner for that day. Now, I'll assess with you the amount you get based on the likes of the video, obviously, but you guys got that. So with this video, all you gotta do every likes 10k, like the video, comment down below the like you are, and subscribe to the channel. Now, as far as coins go on this video, guys, let's head over to the market to show you guys the 97 overall cards to show you guys kind of what we're looking at right now. The 97s, not that many in the game right now. There really isn't. That is pr like primarily why they're such a high price. And even the Ultimate Legends really aren't that crazy. So right now, as far as 97s, we believe we only really have the Ultimate Legends. So if we go on in here, as you guys can see, these cards shouldn't be too expensive right now. But the 97s are still going to be holding dice. Like Dan Dierdorf, already at 303k. Lucky for us, guys. Ultimate Legends aren't a prime representation of pricing just for the uh, pure reasoning that like Ultimate Legends, there's just so many of them. So they're not going to be that expensive to begin with, but 97s are going to be taking a pretty decent dip. And guys, by the way, you do have your 97 overall power pass, so there's going to be 64 brand new players as options for you to use your 97 power pass on. So definitely take that into account. The Ryan Tannehill and Crazy card were looking pretty amazing. Quite honestly, if, if Tannehill had a power up, he'd be pretty insane. But they were looking really good, so there's going to be a lot of good new cards in the game, which means that if there's a lot of brand new 97s, all these 96s should take a hit. So for the most part, going to be honest with you guys, if you have a lot of these team of, the, like, team of the Year cards, and you have a lot of these cards that are 96s, they should come down a little bit because 64 brand new cards, they all can't be overpriced. It's, not, it's just not possible. It's physically not possible for every card to be overpriced. So you have to anticipate that a lot of these cards should be coming down in value, which does mean like, if you have some of these guys, Chandler Jones is just 240. He's coming. He came, they came down a little bit. A lot of these cards already came down. People are going to start pre-selling for the promo, obviously. Now, as far as the special stream tonight, guys, we're going to get unveiled all the brand new players. So I recommend, if you see any cheap power-ups that you think haven't gotten a card in a while, you want to go pick them up. For instance, power-ups definitely change in value based on what people see. Now, Jarrell Case is not going to be a great example because he is just one of the cards. Now, remember, there's going to be 64 cards announced, so it's going to be washed out just a little bit. So you, have to, you don't have to really like go crazy because there's going to be so many cards. No one's going to be like flying for him. Jarrell Case, this, this tells you what people think about him. Compared to Aaron Donald, he's not as good, so he's not going to go crazy. But if they release like a 97 team MVP offensive Saquon Barkley tonight for the Giants, Saquon's power might go up a ton. Very possible, because he'll be one of the best running backs in Madden. Now, let's go check out his, his uh, power card, 25,000 coins. That makes me think that people think he's getting one. People must think he's getting one. So if you have a Saquon Barkley power up, again, another guy you could sell right now, but you might want to wait. A lot of power ups can go up in price, because a lot of modern day players, there's 64 cards. 64 players are getting power, uh, new cards. Tannehill obviously didn't have a power up. There's going to be other guys. There's plenty of guys that are in line to get these cards. 
So you don't really have to go crazy with it. I'm just giving you guys a quick heads up as far as if you have any power-ups, definitely tonight watch the stream, sit on Madden, sit on the mobile app, and be watching your power up and your binder because if they go up if they drop like let's say they drop a julio jones tonight and you have julio bam massive amount of coins with now julio did get a card for christmas so i don't think we'll get a card let's still check Julio's only 3k just a few of these guys like if you, if you think you, you have a, like a hunch that they can get one buy a few of them He's, he gets he gets his power up card or his card and he's great he's going up to 25k easy easy 20k right there and not to mention, guys, I have this little theory that a lot of people get uh, leaks from EA members, that, like EA, that the friends are that work at EA. Because if you check Saquon Barkley, 28K, a, I feel like there's a good chance of getting a card. I'm, all year, guys, there's been like this trend where if you look at power-ups and one of them, if they're crazy expensive for no reason, they're probably getting a card. Unless a YouTuber specifically says, like, me, let's say me, Zerx, you say like, publicly to get this card. Sometimes they go up a lot, but I don't think he said anything, and I definitely haven't said anything, so kind of sketchy that Saquon's going for so expensive. But guys, beyond that... As far as the regular type cards in terms of your coins, I recommend you sell off a few cards tonight before the special stream. Because let's say they announce tonight a new cornerback and he's the best cornerback in Madden. Night Train Link can take a little bit of a hit. Now Night Train Link's still 90 overall, so these cards should these cards will be safe from a crash. But because they're gonna introduce so many new cards, they could come down a little bit because people are gonna want to get some coins for these new cards. As you can see, Mahomes is below a million. Night Train Link's at 900 k Lamar shouldn't be touched again because he's still LTD. It's gonna be quite impossible. So 98, 99 won't be affected too much. They will overall come down with the market. But they're not going to be impacted like a crazy amount to the point where they're like coming down like a ton. They, they would need to be 98 overall cards and then overall cards to really affect those cards specifically. But I think team of the year and some ultimate legends will take a hit because as long as they're good, right? The issue with last year's was was that the team of the well, the team MVPs weren't that great. I've been through the list with you guys a hundred times. I'm telling you, there were 64 cards and only some of them were like, okay, I could use those. There wasn't many. Kalo Mac was one of the most overpowered ones. And that was about it. There really wasn't many that I was like, wow, you need to have them on your team. I, I promise you guys, that was the reality of it. But Ryan Tannehill looked amazing. Jarrell Case of that game, guys. And don't, just because they're not the best card of their position doesn't mean they're not great. It's going to be hard to compete with Aaron Donald. It just is. It's always, it's always been that way. It's been, as long as he's been in the league. Jarrell Case is still great. What about defensive tackles? One of the best DTs. A lot of cards are looking, those cards look solid. AJ Brown looks solid. And they released 64 of them. This also might lead people to start doing some more theme teams. It might, people might start selling some of these players like, eh. Man's already high enough over. I'm gonna start doing my theme team, sell some players off. I'm telling you, the market's gonna take a pretty big hit. And then we got the combine promo following. So I think the market's gonna be on like a downward trend pretty much beyond this for the most part. So I'd anticipate you guys kind of want to be properly taking advantage of this. You don't want to be going. I wouldn't buy cards today, specific. I wouldn't really touch cards. Power ups are the only cards I would touch. Now, again, I don't know specifically what power ups are. I do, I do have a little prediction list and I'll toss into this real quick. Just for you guys to, a little thinker, right? For powers, like guys like Shaq Mason. Ezekiel Elliott, Joe Staley, Saquon Barkley, Cooper Cup, Carson Wentz. I think those are some solid, solid options right there, just in as terms. Like, I think Ezekiel Elliott has to be getting this card. I mean, I could be wrong. Don't kill me, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be picking up some Zeke power ups right now. I think there's a good chance Zeke gets this card. No joke, pick up some right now. Zeke has not gotten, Zeke has gotten no cards all year. No love at all. He has like a 90 overall signature series. That's absurd. I think Jair Alexander has a good chance. Odell Beckham Jr., Ryan Kerrigan. Well, kind of Kendall Fuller, Quentin Nelson, Alvin Kamara, Xavier Howard, Mark Ingram, Cortland Sutton, Damian Williams. Guys, there's so many good cards. I'm going to take up a bunch of power because I can make a lot of coins on these. I'm super excited because if I can make some decent coins on these guys, going to be a great, great value that I could be turned to. I'm going to pick up a bunch of these because this is super cheap and it has to be Zeke. He is the MVP now. Could it be Dak Prescott? It is possible. Now, I don't believe, does Dak have a power? I believe he, I want to say he got one. I'm gonna pick up a few more of these guys. Feel free to pick up the ones you want. Got this done before video, because guys, sometimes the thing I do is I tell you guys advice and I gotta do it after the video after it's posted and always backfires on me. I'm gonna pick up a few now. There's more than enough for all you guys here. Come come join the uh, the Zeke wave right here. If these guys, if these go up to 15k, I just bought like eight of them. I sell them for eight and I make five times my coins. I'm making a lot of coins there. Easy to make close to 100k. Now let's check out the which one which one was it? Was it Dak? Does Dak have one? Because if it's not Dak. Dak doesn't have a power up, but another safe bet would no. There's no Dak. Okay, I didn't think so. So quite a few guys you can really make some coins on here. Now I think Odell actually might be getting a team combine a combine card, so it might have, it might be another player from the Browns. So it really just depends, guys. But that pretty much wraps up the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're already to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, boys. Make sure to take some of this advice. I promise you guys, this is some great advice you guys can be taking advantage of. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Giveaway every 80 likes is another 10k given away so run the like button subscribe to the channel and make sure to get your comments in down below comment the number of like you are like the video and make sure you are subscribed to be able to be entered
guys, that's about it. And see Young Savage, whatever the name was. Make sure to hit me up on Twitter. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.